What's going on guys? This is Britter back with some more Flexbox practice and I found another Flexbox game. You know how I love these. This one's called Flexbox Defense. Your job is to stop the incoming enemies from getting past your defenses. Unlike other tower defense games, you must position your towers using CSS. We'll start with container properties. A Flexbox container has a main axis and a cross axis. Use the Justify Content property on the tower group container to move your towers into effective positions. Justify Content positions a container's items along the main axis and accepts the following values. <coughs> it accepts Flex Start, Flex In, Center, Space Between, Space Around. Try Justify Content Center, for example, to move the contents towers to the center of the main axis. Alright, so Justify Content Center. Start wave. Look at that. We've scored 100 points. All right, next wave. Now you have more tower groups at your disposal. Use Justify Content to move the towers into position. position. And then it says again which it accepts. So um, this one, we're going to do, this one's going to be this Justify Content Center. All right. <clears throat> Um, justify content, I think this is going to be flex end, and I think this one is going to be as well. Let's start our wave. So far, it's looking good. I love this, and I also love tower defense games, so this is exciting. We've scored another 100 points. Next wave. A tower flashes red when it is positioned on the path. You must reposition it before you can start the wave. Use justify content to get your towers into better positions. Alright, so I think this one is going to be um, space between um, for this one. And then this one center. Looking good, looking good. We're on wave three of 12. Okay, next wave. Now some of the groups have vertical space, which is the perfect opportunity to use the Align Items property. Align Items positions and containers items are Cross its cross axis and accepts the following values. Flex start, flex in, center. Note, align items also accepts the values baseline, align items such that their baselines line up. And stretch. Stretch items such that they span the entire cross axis. But these values cannot be used in flexbox defense. Okay, so uh, this one we're going to do align items flex end see what that does yep and then this one I wonder if we can't also do this 
Uh, I don't think we want them center, so we'll take that out. Let's just see. I don't know if this is going to work because they're kind of close to the edge. Yeah, we might end up. Oh, I think it's working. I thought we were it's it's cutting it close, but we got it. All right. This time things are a bit trickier. Try combining justify content and align items to score 80 or higher. All right. So, got it. And I think we can just hover over this to see what our options are. So, this would be cool if we can move down here, but I don't think we can. Um, this one, let's do, what should we do here? Tower group one, align items, flex end. Let's try this. Justify content space around. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that puts them in good places. And then line items center. Uh, we can't do center. I know we can do center. And then justify content needs to also be center. I think for it to move over. Yeah. Alright, and then this one let's try justify content center. Should we do center? Yeah, that'll work. I was gonna try I was gonna move it all the way over, but I think that's actually good. So let's go ahead and start it. And let's see what happens. Looking good so far. Shout out to Channing Allen for making this cool game to teach us Flexbox. I'm gonna be honest, playing these games have really helped me understand. So I am appreciative, especially this free content. Use the properties you've learned to score 80 or higher. Okay, so what if I did justify content space around? Uh, no, that won't work. Let's try space between. And then I can move it down, I think. And then align items um, center. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. We scored 100 points. This time, you have more towers, but less horizontal room to work with. The flex direction property is your answer. Flex direction defines the directional layout of the main and cross axis in the flex container. For example, although the main axis lays out horizontally and the cross axis lays out vertically by default, flex direction can rotate the axis such that the main axis lays out vertically and the cross axis lays out horizontally. Here's what this looks like. 
All right, and flex direction accepts row, row reverse, column, column reverse. So I think what we want to do here is do tower group one, flex direction, column. Don't know that that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Flex direction column. The only thing is, uh, is that going to be close enough? Um, let's see. And we got 100 points. Now flex direction must be combined with a property you've learned previously. You'll be responsible for determining which one. Remember flex direction can change the directional layout of the axis. All right, so now we got three that we can use. So um, let's try for tower group two, um, flex direction column justify content center is that going to move it too far over line items center okay um Should be good so let's start the wave <clears throat> i think that justify content center was irrelevant here looks like we're still going to get our 100 points and this time each group contains a super tower Super towers take a while to reload, but damage every enemy in their attack range. Use the properties you've learned to score 80 or higher. Okay, this is the super tower. Um, space between. Let's try that. Justify content space between. Let's see what happens. And we're on the thing. And so let's try space around. Perfect. All right. And then this one, we're going to do line item center um, space justify content space around and start wave. <clears throat> We're on wave 9 of 12. So far, so good. Let's see what the super tower does. Pretty awesome. Oh no, oh no. All right guys, uh, something. We have failed. Try again. Okay, so let's try something else. I think I know what I need to do here. So display flex. Um, flex direction column reverse. It's not column reverse. Um, row 
row reverse. I think we should do that here too. Flex direction, row reverse. Justify content space around. What would be nice is if I could get these guys to move up further. So let's do align items. Flex in. I don't think that's right. No, that's not right. Because if I could get these guys up here, that would be awesome. But I don't think we're, we can do that. Flex direction. Column. He's going to make it a column. Oh, I think I know. All right, so let's try flex start. No, nope. let's try flex end column reverse. No. Mm -mm. Line items flex start. I think we want to do row still. And then justify content space around. <clears throat> Line items center. All right, let's try that. I don't know if that makes any difference with the super one not on the end. I think it will, but I'm not sure here because it should damage more of them at a time in the circle because they're in the circle longer. Um, we'll see. I know that we had more than five points already, so I don't know if this is what we should have been doing. Alright, so we got five points. Ten. <clears throat> I think this was it. Because that damages a larger group of them quicker. And then these take them out. So yeah, we did good. Next wave. The super towers are in bad positions again, but this time you'll need to apply styles to the towers themselves. The order property defines the order in which an item appears in the flex container and accepts both positive and negative integer values. All flex items begin with a default order of zero, so an item with an order greater than zero will, re will be repositioned to relative to items still set to their default orders. Use justify content in order to move your towers into position. Okay, so... Let's see here. Tower group one. So I think what we want to do is put the super towers there. So tower group one. One, one, two, one. Um, with the item property order. Order one. Um, okay. So now we want to do um, okay so we don't want 
We can only use justify content, it seems like. So, order three. <clears throat> um, justify content space. We really want this one to be on items flex end. No, we're not supposed to use one items, we're just supposed to use justify content, so um, I don't think this is going to do it. I really want that super tower there. Um, that's what I want. I wonder if this one could do, I don't think so, okay yeah I can, so this one, order one, no, I want it order. <clears throat> See if that does it. I don't think this top set is correct at all. We'll see. See what happens. I think we really should have utilized that square there. I don't know how to do that without online items. With online items, it would have been easy. Uh, I don't think we're getting a hundred. We're not getting a hundred. Yeah, we only got 32. <clears throat> 36. Not good enough. Not good enough. Um, try again. Only use justify content in order. Position an item relative to other items in the container. All right, so let's try this. Let's try. Um, justify content space flex end. No, I don't think we can do that. I think we can only do order with that. And I think we're gonna want this tower order one. Justify content space around. 
that's better. That's much better. Alright. Um, order one. And it needs to be order three. Justify content space around and then we just need to get that tower swapped order two all right now let's try i think this is set up better oh no 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 uh No, super tower should be in the square where it gets hit. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. We've already got more points than we did last time. I think we're going to make it to 100. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. We are on wave 11 of 12. To vertically position individual towers, use align self which accepts the same values as align items. Use justify content and align self to move your towers into position. Okay, only justify contents and align self. Got it. <clears throat> All right, so. Move your towers into position. I think space between will work. Um, so tower one, line items, flex, end. I don't know, align self. Tower three. Align self flex end. That should be good. Let's see. There we go, guys. <clears throat> All right, next wave. This is wave 12 of 12. The last one's pretty tough. Use the properties you learned to score 80 or higher. All right, so we can use everything in this one. So, all right, we want this first super tower to stay put. Let's do space around all right tower one stay put tower two uh, align self center center okay align oh no 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 
we want this to be order five. Okay. Four. Align self center. Align self center. I think this is our money. So far, so good. Congratulations, you scored 100 points. You beat the game. If you had a good time, follow me for updates and spread the word about Flexbox Defense. And I plan to follow Channing Allen and support him in this project. You guys let me know in the comments what you thought about this Flexbox game, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!